Hello and welcome to 4 Accelerator and another series of How to Beat Deity. I'm your host Stratagos and today we are starting up with Saladin leading Arabia. Uh, I'm really excited about doing Saladin. Uh, for one thing, in Civilization 5, Arabia was probably my favorite Civ. Uh, so when Civilization 6 was announced, I was uh, very excited for Arabia and I was even more excited because uh, they focus on faith and science. I love scientific Civs. He was the first... Uh, there was the only science civ, uh, real, like dedicated science civ at the, at launch. So I was really excited for that. I was also really excited for the blend of, of faith alongside that. Um, so I'm really excited to get into Saladin with you guys. So what I'm doing is uh, Gathering Storm expansion, Saladin, deity difficulty, standard speed, continents map, large map size. Uh, my plan is to go for religion, but not for a religious victory. I want to use religion to segue into a science victory. And that's why I'm doing a large map size. Um, I could even do huge because that way uh, it's it's on it's less likely that I'll just get a quick uh, religious victory and instead have to segue into science. Disaster intensity set at two just because that's standard. For advanced setup, I'm going to change my jersey just because I, I like uh, I like this Ar Arabian color jersey a little bit better um, than the normal one. Um, it should also be a bit more unique. As far as leaders, I want to put in a few rivals. So I want to put in Frederick Barbarossa, uh, even though he was in our last game as Rome, just because uh, these two fought against each other during the Crusades. Uh, I think I will also put in uh, Spain as another uh, rival of Arabia. Um, obviously, the, the Moors uh, conquered large, part, large parts of Spain, and then Philip II and the Catholics uh, pressed them out. Uh, finally, I think I'll put in uh, Eleanor leading England because um, Eleanor was, if I'm remembering correctly, the mother of Richard the Lionheart, who was another uh, crusader who fought against Saladin. So uh, with these rivals, these historical rivals, uh, we'll get the game going. They also function to rival us a little bit mechanically. Frederick Barbarossa has the Hansa, which gives him huge boosts to production, which is useful for the scientific, the scientific victory. Um, as well as domination, we might we might get attacked by either one of these um, or any of them. Philip II, obviously a religious rival, uh, who again uh, has a little bit of a, a conquest aspect to him, and Eleanor, who also has a conquest aspect. Um, so these will be some good rivals for us. The rest will leave random. Uh, as far as other settings go, we'll just leave everything standard, and we'll uh, start up the game. All right, let's have a look at uh, Saladin's and Arabia's abilities. So let's start with the Last Prophet. Uh, we automatically receive the final Great Prophet when the next to last one is claimed, if we haven't gotten one already. In other words, we're guaranteed a religion, which is great on deity difficulty. Ordinarily, if you want to get a religion, you're going to have to really prioritize it. Um, but with uh, Saladin, you don't have to prioritize it. All you need is a holy site, and you'll be able to get a religion for sure. The other bit is plus one science for each foreign city following Arabia's religion, and that's the main way that we're going to use religion to segue into science. If we uh, religiously convert a lot of foreign cities, we're just going to get loads and loads of science out of that. Uh, Saladin's ability is righteousness of the faith. The worship building for the religion, uh, for my religion, can be purchased by any player for just one-tenth of the usual faith cost. If you've got the theocracy government, it's actually free. Um, and this worship building is enhanced to add 10% to the science, faith, and culture output of Arabian cities, which ends up being quite a big boost to science, faith, and culture, which is great. Uh, we obviously want science if we're going for um, a science victory. We want faith if we're uh, supporting our uh, science victory with, with religion. And the culture output uh, will also help us uh, keep us from having to make too many uh, theater squares and still being up on culture. Our unique unit is uh, the Mamluk, which replaces the knight, and uh, it, it has normal knight uh, combat strength and everything, but it does heal at the end of every turn, even after moving or attacking, which is quite, quite strong. Um, we'll see if we end up going for any any sort of conquest of anyone else, but if, if nothing else, the Mamluks will be great for defense, which is great for science. And finally, their unique infrastructure is uh, the Madrasa, which is a replacement for the university. Uh, it gives bonus faith equal to the adjacency bonus of the campus district, which is great because we want high adjacency campuses. We want to double those with uh, 
the what is it uh nat uh, natural history uh whatever the uh the double campus adjacency bonus one is it'll work with the madrasa but the real perk of the madrasa i i would say uh is that uh universities usually come at education which is a medieval era tech but the madrasa comes at theology which is a classical era civic um and it's also down this sort of religion track um of civics which we want to go down anyway so the the bigger bonus perhaps to the madrasa is just how early it comes uh so those are our abilities and and as i said at the start the plan is to start a religion uh go heavy into religion and converting other uh uh empires to our religion but then to use it to segue into a scientific victory uh, so for that we we have a, a few plans uh, we'd like to get holy sites as soon as possible um, we need focus it but you still want to start getting faith as early as possible um, in order to then be able to produce missionaries and so on so we do want to get a holy site up so I'm going to pick um, astrology uh, at this right at the start as far as civics we uh, we are researching code of laws by default, but uh, as I already mentioned, there's this lower half of the tree, which tends to give you theological stuff. At theology, you get uh, scripture for double holy site adjacency. Um, the double campus uh, adjacency was uh, natural philosophy, by the way, not natural history, but it's at recorded history. Uh, so to boost this, we just need to found a religion. To boost this, we need to build two campuses. We're going to want both of those. Uh, we would also like, if we can, to build the Mahabodhi Temple uh, uh, Wonder, which will grant two apostles, as well as giving us plus two diplomatic victory points and plus four faith. Um, so if we can, we'd like to build a holy site adjacent to woods in order to build the Mahabodhi Temple. Uh, and those two apostles just basically will allow us to enhance our religion uh, completely uh, as, as soon as possible, so we don't have to save up our faith for some rather expensive apostles. Then we'll want to um, go to, we we'll want to build two temples, unlock divine right. And uh, finally, after civil service and guilds, we'll want to get reformed church and we'll get that by having six cities following our religion, which can include our own um, as well as others. And this should be no problem to get as long as we're doing our religion correctly. And theocracy will allow us to buy our missionaries and apostles uh, much more cheaply, which will be great for converting uh, enemy units. We'll also get simultaneum um, or simultaneum, and uh, that will give us extra faith from the buildings and our holy sites as well. Um, so we're going to focus down this bottom half. Now I will note the boost to stirrups, um, at which we unlock our Mamluks, the knight replacement, uh, is to have the feudalism civic. So it can make sense, especially if you're going for um, early Mamluk conquest or a rush to go for feudalism but I think we'll probably uh, delay feudalism because that boosts uh, Memluks but to actually produce them faster you need chivalry with divine right so I think we'll prioritize that and when it comes to it we'll probably hard research Memluks but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it um, other wonders we might like to get it would be nice to get the great library uh, for free science boosts uh, as well as scientist points and, and writer points. Um, and eventually we would like to get Brewer Valley if we can, so that we have a good production base for spaceship parts and the Oxford University. Um, but those are farther down the line as well. For now, uh, we're just going to focus on uh, getting our religion going. Uh, so let's try to figure out where we should settle our city. Um, I'm just going to explore this way. Okay, so. I think I want to settle my first city here. And the reason is that uh, that gives us this three food tile, which is nice. It still puts us in ranges of this three food um, pasture tile. We can improve uh, the rice for the boost to irrigation. We can improve the pasture for the boost to horseback riding. But most importantly, it gives us this spot to put our first holy site, which will get plus one adjacency from the mountain and uh, plus one adjacency from having two woods. It's also next to woods, so we can build the Mahabodhi temple there. Um, so, and, so I don't want to settle in place because I want to reserve that for a holy site district. So I'm going to settle right here. This seems fine. 
Um, you'll notice as I hover over this, I can see my citizen management. That's because I'm using Sucatract simple UI adjustment. I'm also using a mod that uh, lets me have a better espionage screen and a better trade screen. Uh, but those don't change the gameplay at all. These just change the UI, the uh, user interface. Uh, so I want to go into citizen management. I want to work one of these three food tiles to get uh, growing quicker. doesn't matter which one, so I'm just going to lock it onto there. I'm also going to set the, um, the defaults to focusing on food and production for when we get a new citizen, just in case I forget to uh, lock the citizen somewhere. So now you can see that we're growing in five turns, which is much, much better. Uh, as far as what we build to start, um, it can be beneficial to go for a scout. It can also be beneficial to go for an early warrior or slinger. Um, it's a little bit early to go for, um, say, a builder or a monument. Uh, I think I will go for a slinger, just because um, we're up in the tundra. We might not have any enemies near us, but we probably will have barbarians, although we can see the coast right there. Um, and uh, if we kill a unit with the slinger, we can boost archery and... Uh, because we're going science, I'm going to focus on ranged units because they don't require resources and they're also usually quite strong and good for defending. Um, so that's why I'm going to start with the Slinger. It's just going to be the first in a long line of archers, crossbowmen, field cannons, and so on that we want to build for defense. Um, and we were the first to settle on Lemuria because we're the first to settle at all. And uh, then we'll go on to the next turn. All right, we're just gonna explore around in a circle um, just to see what we can find. And we already found one barbarian. We'll move there. Try to cut it off if it uh, moves past us. Okay, it moved in the other direction. So we'll move down and try to block it. Okay, we already found Matthias, leader of Hungary. Uh, we'd love to sample his hospitality. It's great that we just got writing so quickly. Uh, I want to send him a delegation right away because I would like to keep him happy. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything to trade with him. Um, otherwise, I would give him something to trade with because they usually like that. Uh, I would like to keep him happy, like I said, uh, because I don't want the deity AI to attack us. But um, in any case, we are preparing for defense. Um, so we can defend ourselves if, if need be. Uh, but for right now, I'd prefer it if we could just be his friend and buddy. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll keep exploring with this warrior in this direction since he's going to find any city-states first if we go that way. Um, probably. He's probably just going to keep exploring that direction. Alright, keep exploring. And I'm just moving one step at a time so that I can decide where is the best place to move uh, after moving one. Okay, now I want to set this over there. Uh, we'll be growing in six turns now. All right, he's following us pretty closely across the river. All right, and he's sending his warrior over towards us. He's, uh, he's a little bit unhappy. If he starts sending any more warriors, we might be worried about early aggression from Hungary, um, in which case we'll have to defend ourselves. But for right now, uh, hopefully he's just exploring. Uh, he's he's not his capital is not super far away from us, but it's also not super close. So I'm not so worried. We might want to uh, settle a few cities just to keep him from claiming all of this territory. But uh, we don't we don't need to forward settle him or anything. He just settled there. All right, we found Nan Madal. I don't think we were the first to find them. No, uh, Matthias was. Um, that's too bad. If we get an envoy, we want to put it there so we can get some uh, quick culture. All right, we found a barbarian camp. Uh, so let's send our slinger that way so we can get the boost to archery. And uh, we want to work this two food, one production tile now, not the one production, not the one food, two production. And we would like to get um, 
maybe another slinger, honestly. The settler, we'd like to get a settler out, but it will take um, a significant number of turns. Uh, we could also get our builder out. That could be a good use of our time right now. But maybe another slinger. Uh, or maybe a warrior, just in case, just to defend us, because he is rather close. And another, another warrior will be super helpful in case he attacks. And we were just discovered by that scout. So we will put in that. We'll put in uh, Discipline for 5 unit combat strength against Barbarians. And we'll put in God King, just so we can start getting a Pantheon that much quicker. Uh, since we're up in the Tundra, we'll think about getting the uh, Tundra Faith Pantheon. But uh, there's not a lot of Tundra, so maybe we'll go for something else. Uh, we do want to get that. Uh, I should have gone the other way to get the um, Tribal Village. But in any case, we'll attack there. Uh, what do we want here? Uh, I think we will go for uh, craftsmanship first. Um, and my thinking is we want to get a builder out and we want to start improving things, so we'll probably boost this fairly quickly, and then we'll have the ability to uh, spam out military units just in case. Uh, if we were building a settler earlier, I would think about foreign trade just so we could get the uh, trader. All right, now that scout is running that direction. Hopefully... Uh, Matthias handles whatever barbarians are going to come out of there. In fact, it might be good for us that uh, barbarians are going to spawn um, over closer to his territory than ours. So we'll get that tribal village. We'll get one envoy. We'll send it to Nan Madal for some culture in our capital, uh, which will be great for us. And now our slinger's in place to attack this scout, which is also good. Um, I'm just going to heal up this warrior for now. And uh, let's see. We could try this. I'm going to hit this scout once. I uh, won't quite kill it with my slinger, unfortunately. Hopefully it suicides onto the slinger instead of running away like it did. Um, I'll move here. And uh, the scout might just keep running. But this uh, spearman will probably um, step out to try to attack the slinger. Um... So I think I'll just hit it once. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius. All right, I'm just gonna set down our holy site there. Um, there's no need to uh, build it just yet because we don't have to worry about getting the, the great profit. We'll just get it no matter what, um, and we'll just keep building our warrior. Um, we are not making a lot of gold right now. Uh, we don't really have access to any luxury resources, unfortunately. Um, so uh, it's going to be a while before we can uh, buy a builder. So we might just want to get a builder right after this so that we can get the boost to craftsmanship faster. I'm going to repair that. I'm going to sling this spearman once. And if it attacks our spearman, we'll kill it and get the boost to archery. I'm going to research animal husbandry next which will reveal horses and allow us to uh, improve that cattle tile. All right, boost to archery, boost to military tradition, because we took out a barbarian outpost. And we have our warrior here to help defend us just in case. The great bath has been built, no biggie. We weren't going for that. Uh, just going to explore. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'll explore in this way, too. Okay, we got some coast. Yeah, so we definitely want to settle this territory early just so that we, we get it from Matthias. And then we'll go for the coasts, which, uh, which shouldn't be too bad. There's a reef there. We can put a good campus next to the reef. Ah, double reef. So this is an excellent campus spot. We'll get plus two uh, from that reef, plus two from that reef for four total. So we definitely want to settle over here uh, as soon as possible. All right, uh, Matthias is definitely uh, coming to attack us. So we need to, we don't have time to build a builder. We're just gonna get craftsmanship and we need to start building uh, slingers that we can then turn into archers. In fact, maybe a warrior. Uh, 
Yeah, maybe maybe a warrior before we uh, start building archers. And I want to pull all my units back. And I want to just fortify. Yeah, I just want to fortify right here. Yeah, he doesn't want to be my friend. He wants to be my enemy. If there are no dogs in heaven. All right, no horses near us, but that's okay. Uh, we're still gonna want to go straight for archery now, um, so that we can start building archers and, and convert our slinger into an archer as well. And in one turn, we'll get the Agoge card, which will let us build units faster. Without craftsmanship. So we'll slap in the Agoge card for plus 50% production towards uh, melee anti-cabin ranged. So as you can see, our start next to a fairly aggressive sieve um, will be slowing down our uh, production a little bit, but... Uh, the, the main mistake you can make in, in, well, any Civ game, but especially on Deity difficulty, is underestimating the AI's forces. And when they're outside your gates with, uh, with their military, you really just have to build up military so that you can match them. Um, otherwise, you'll just get taken out. And uh, maybe we'll eventually make up for this uh, slowdown by taking his cities we'll, uh, in retaliation. We'll find out. Um, again, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, next up, uh, why don't we just do foreign trade? We're not, we're probably not going to discover a second continent anytime soon. Although Hungary does start, um, on continental boundaries very often. So there could be a, another continent just like nearby, but in any case, we'll go straight for foreign trade. And, uh, it's okay that we're not getting the boosts because we are getting extra culture to culture in our, in our capital. Thanks to the, our envoy at Nan Madal. And I sort of expect a war declaration at any minute. Although maybe he's already noticed that we're not pushovers. Okay, so now I'll try to build a slinger, which will be ready before archery, so it'll get out. Then we can boost it. Uh, we're, we can upgrade it with uh, archery. I want to get the two food, uh, one production tile in here again uh, in five turns. Okay, I'll, I'll switch it back to the one food, two production, um, just so we can get that uh, slinger out and then upgrade it. All right, he's backing off a little bit, but just to be safe, I, I do want to uh, finish that slinger. So I think the AI is recalculating. They've noticed that we, we do have a military, and they know that it's going to be much harder to take the city than it would have been if they had taken us unawares. Let's just put the slinger in this woods. Let's put this slinger on the hill because it's a nice defensive position. And uh, let's see, we'll be able to buy a builder in a few turns. So now we probably want to start uh, getting our settler out. And then we'll work on the holy site. Actually, how many turns until 17 to there. Um, we could just put the holy site down, start getting great profit points. Why don't we do that instead? All right, he's dispersing, so it looks like the threat has uh, was passed. Um, we're just going to keep these slingers here, though. Um, we can upgrade them, or yeah, upgrade them to uh, archers if we need to. And. Uh, Let's see. After, so we want to improve the rice for the boost to irrigation. We want to improve the cattle, and then we want to use. Uh, we want to get mining to improve one of these copper tiles for a, the boost to wheel. So we're gonna research mining next. And uh, because we had to defend, we did not get very much era score. We're gonna get a dark age most likely in the next era, um, but that's all right. Uh, we won't really have any penalties to loyalty, so that's just fine. Every 
information lives by exchanging. All right, and I'm just going to leave these cards in for now. Uh, I would like, since we are getting our holy site down, I would like to uh, put it in the or research state workforce uh, so we can get the boost to that. And I'm just exploring out with these uh, units a little bit. Just to see what we can find. We still have these forces at home to deter Matthias. Alright, he's giving us a little bit of a warning there. Pretty aggro. Alright, there's another reef here, which means uh, this might be a good campus spot. We don't have a lot of mountains, unfortunately. Um, we might put a campus here between those two mountains, and then uh, we could potentially put our government plaza there to boost the holy site and our campus, and then we might want to put a campus there as well. In fact, why don't we plan on doing that? Try to put a campus here if we put a city down somewhere else. One, two, three, if we put it there, or there, for instance, or wherever. Wherever we put it, we won't probably want to put a campus there. Uh, let's see, there's no reefs around this mountain, unfortunately. Otherwise, like, if there were a reef there, and there could be, um, then a campus here would be really good to get plus two, plus one. Um, all right, yeah, so not, not a great territory for holy sites or campuses, but we'll make do with what we have. We only have four error score. Stonehenge has been built. And I'm getting sight on Buddha, so now we'll be able to trade to Buddha. And uh, I'm going to send this warrior down to deal with that. I'm going to send this slinger out and around uh, to assist. Okay, so we've found his lands. We probably don't want to go much further. We want to keep our army on this side of his army so that we can beat him to our capital if need be. Who deserves more credit than that? And uh, I already should have bought a builder, but uh, in any case, we'll buy one now. And we'll, uh, we'll improve that cattle, that rice, and uh, build a copper mine. So right now we've hit our housing limit, so our food is, is less good for us. Um, but until we get our housing up, which we will, um, once we improve these two resources, the cattle and the rice, which give us half housing each, um, we don't need to prioritize food. Instead, let's just see if we prioritize production, uh, we'll lose a pop in seven turns. Um, but we are getting lots of gold from those copper tiles. Let's try doing these. Okay, then no growth. That's fine. Um, no growth is fine while we're at the housing limit, and we'll build the uh, holy site faster. Uh, next up, we would like to get to writing so we can put down our campus as soon as possible. Water, water everywhere. Nor any. All right, so we did find a natural wonder. If we could settle over here, put a holy site there, that'd be a great holy site. Um, we'll just see where Mati Matthias goes, but and he wouldn't like us forward settling. But this looks like it's, it might be a good spot anyway. We got horses, we got uh, floodplains for nice big farms. So uh, we'll look to settle down there and we'll, s we'll move that uh, warrior there just to see what's going on. Uh, we're hitting that scout. Let's just move that uh, warrior down and that slinger down for now. Right, four turns. Uh, I think we'll get a dark age, which is which is good. Honestly, we don't need any loyalty help right now, so we might as well get a dark age now. All right, we'll get that boost. In fact, one strategy that I could have used is to um, wait until the next era, get the free inquiry dedication, which gives us uh, boosts 
uh, or error score for boosts and then do these. In fact, I probably should still do that now. Um, so I will wait until the next era ticks over um, to get any more boosts with this uh, builder. All right, but we're already working this uh, four fruit, tile, which is good. And we found some coast over here, so uh, it looks like we could get a really good spot here uh, on the Danube. Um, We could get a nice harbor here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. We'll need to settle these cities first before we can do that, but because uh, of the loyalty pressure. But this would be a good spot to settle if we can, and then put a holy site here next to Lake Retba uh, for the plus four adjacency from the two natural wonder tiles. There's the boost estate workforce from building our holy site. And now we definitely like to get out a settler. There's also a mountain here. We can put down a campus. And uh, we can get our Pantheon. So not a lot of Tundra. I don't want Dance of the Aurora. No Rainforest. Uh, we do have a holy site on the river. So River Goddess could be an option. Uh, we do have a lot of rivers. So putting holy sites on the rivers. Since we don't really have any other places to... Good places to put them. Um, except like next to woods, I guess. Um, like here wouldn't be a bad spot for a holy site. Uh, I'll just put attack in now. Uh, so since we don't have like really good holy site spots anyway, we might as well like put them on the rivers, and then river goddess could be quite helpful. Um, Divine spark is always great. We it would help us with great prophets as well as great scientists and great writers. Um, not a lot of marsh. Well, there's there's some marsh, but not a lot. Um, so don't really want leads. Uh, Lady of the reeds and marshes. Uh, we are pretty coastal, so God of the Sea could be okay. Um, God of Pas or yeah, God of the Open Sky for culture from pastures. We're, we're, we do want to get these uh, horses if we can. Probably not these ones too close to uh, Matthias. Um, yeah, so we don't have a lot of pastures around us. We do have some luxury and bonus resources in the copper, um, but uh, just those two really. And then well, there's some. We do have a fair bit of copper and stuff, so that is that is an option. We could go for God of Craftsmen, but we don't know if there's iron around us. Uh, quarries, we don't have a lot of... Well, we have some quarries, we got some stone, we have some marble. Um, so none of these is, like, amazing for us. They're all just, like, okay, pretty okay. Um, extra Faith would be great. Uh, I think because of this river network, I'm intrigued by the idea of River Goddess. Uh, but I think in, uh, I think the the easiest thing is just to get Divine Spark. Um, we'll get a great profit faster, just in case uh, other civs aren't really going for them. And really, it'll help us get uh, great scientists, which we should look at, by the way. Um, all right, the the first uh, great scientist is Arya Bata, not Hypatia, who would be a really good one, but. Uh, the AI has already got campuses down. They're already going for those. So it's going to be a while before we get great scientists, but we do want to get them eventually. So I think we'll go with Divine Spark. And Eastern Orthodoxy has already been founded, presumably by the Stonehenge Builder. Uh, we got the boost to Mysticism. And we'll move there so we can attack 
that, without being over the river. And uh, we will wait a turn to uh, get the, the boost with Ariscor next turn. And we'll just move out our slinger to bust up the fog so we can see what's out there. And that is uh, the end of the ancient era. Uh, so that will be the end of the game. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked, please like and subscribe. Uh, I hope you watch the rest of the series. Please leave a comment if you have comments, questions, requests. Always happy to read those. Um, and otherwise, uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye!